in only 30 minutes. So, let's begin. Begin, guys. So, let us. So, in, in, so in India, po speed post services were started in the year 1986. So, you will thinking like, when these India Post were, services were started to deliver these things. So it was started in the year 1986. So it also used to deliver letters uh, like example this picture you can see this is called postcard. So postcard. And this you can see inland one, inland letter, and this you can see and were love. So nowadays you are using like mobile phones and computers and that things. But in the olden days we were using these postcards. So how to use the postcards? So so we will learn it. In, uh, in our session guys so let me explain you now also so if like think so we need to uh, we need to write a something letter which you need to write on a white paper and then you need to take then you need to put this in some uh, this envelope and then you have to put some stamps on it and then you have to then you have to put it in the post box so like this so we will learn this in the journey of letters and that also we are going to run so okay so letters so what are uses of the letter and what is the futures in the letters so letters are used to carry the message anywhere in the world. Like you can see this is a, like you can think this is a envelope and this can carry anywhere in the world. So like think you are in the Hyderabad, then you need to post this in the, in the Delhi. So it can go anywhere in the world. And then letters are the cheapest means of the communication. So it is very, very less, co less of cost. And it, say, it means, means these letters are very less of cost. So, so these are the very less of cost. Letters are the cheapest means of communication. Letters. It takes two to three days to reach the people. So, like when you write the letter, so it takes two to three days to deliver. So, you were thinking why. So, we are going to learn these all things in our today's video. So, it, so it means that... Uh, it takes two or three days. So, like you know guys, that it takes a little bit of time to reach to the people. And we cannot hear the voice of the people. So, like you were using now like mobile phones and telephones. So, you can hear the voice of the people. But in these all letters, in this, in these letters, in these envelopes, so we will write a letter and the receiver have to read the letter so we cannot hear the voice of the people so like you can only hear the voice in the telephone and the mobile phones like that ones and now different types of letters so we have learned about letters so, how much types of letter is there in the world? So, the postcard. So, we 
like we always use like postcard we use always that on the like and speed post speed post the speed post means to write the letter and to deliver very fastly the postman will deliver fastly it means the speed post in land letter so in land letter so in land letter means that we that means there will be a paper inside of it to write and we need and there is a stamp also on it so in land letter is best because it has a paper inside it to write so we can just write and we don't need any stamp to paste on it is all uh, paste on uh, uh, before only uh, as you can see this is the stamp and now envelope so this envelope is very 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 different from the other ones so this will look like some this and we don't need any stamp and the things we just need like this will be a small one like in page one you can see this is an envelope so like that only this is the envelope so we need to just write and write the address no need of tickets and it's like very smaller not like the triangular shapes like other ones so it is a square shape and small shape and then aerogram so aerogram so letters can be sent to aerogram so aerogram means from a so from a can be reached faster faster than the speed post so that means the aerogram so it is same like envelope but it's little bit of uh, rectangular shape and there is like a sticker also stamp also on it i think so and then how to write the address so if you don't write the address so the postman will not deliver it and it will be in the post office only so it's important to write the address so you need so how to write the address this this so you will be thinking how to write the address it is very confusing but no guys it's very easy so like this you can see first we write write the name so like like you can see the sample one so we need to write the name you can see like sipida das and house number so like in which so house number so which apartment and which floor like you can think guys and like so like here you can see 300 samrat apartment and street and area name so g h g m c h road krishan basti so street means in the colony which 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 uh, they are living and in which they are living like sainagar is a area name and city and state name like city city you can know like telangana delhi and state name like hyderabad and those like akor akor state and city pin code so this is a very important uh, important so pin code so why we need pin code so we need pin code to go the letter to the right place so pin code so every state have a pin code so then it will not go anywhere else it will go to the right right address so that's why you need to write the right pin code and it's very important so like 
Here you can see that we learned postcard, inland letter, letter. So, how do, so journey of a letter. So, how do the letters reach to the another place and the another person? So, what we need to do first? So, we need to write a letter and then we need to, we need to write a letter and we need to put it in the envelope and then we need to post it in the post box and then the postman come and will collect all of the letters and then they will take it to the post office. So, they will take to the post office and they will stamp them and then they pack them and they send it to railway or um, airport railway station or airport and then and then they take it to another post office and they stamp it again and then the receiver receive it so this is a journey of a letter so let's revise it again so first so first we will write a letter we will put it in an envelope we will post it in the post box then the postman will collect all of the letters and then the it will he will take it to the post office then another postman will stamp it and then they will put it in a bag and then they and then they will take it to the railway station or airport and and they receive to another uh, another post office in which state it has to go and then he collects all from the railway station or airport the letters he brings to post office and then they stamp it again then the receiver receive the letter so i think you know about everything we revised up to now so now let's so So now postal services, so we will now talk about all of the India posts and those. So what does the pin mean and why does it, why, why we need pin code? So full form of pin code, pin is postal index number. It is six digit number code. It helps to reach fast and to the correct place. So, so pin is postal index number. So, how much digit number is it? It's, it is six digit number. It helps the letter to reach fast and to the correct place. So, like we have... Children's Day, Teacher's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day. So there is a day, day as Indian Postal Day. So it's a day celebrated. Means Indian Postal Day is observed on 10th October. So October 10th is the, it is observed on. So like we have Children's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Teacher's Day. So like that only we have Indian Postal Day. It is observed on 10th October. So now we will thinking, okay, it's observed on 10th up October. So, so where is it observed? Where do, do we celebrate? So like... They celebrate in the headquarters of India Post is in Delhi. So in Delhi there is a headquarters. We celebrate and observe it in the headquarters. So the headquarters 
headquarters of India Post is in Delhi. So like this, you can see how much big building is this. So you can see all, all small like India Post and all small shops like that. But this is a very big of India Post and it is in Delhi. So, so because you can, so it's very big. So you were thinking that yeah, every shop is big only, but no, they are very small shops. You guys know, like in Hyderabad and in Chennai. So if you go to the the in the India post shop, so it will be little small. So it will be small, but this is a very big building. It will be like it's just a small. So. That's why it is called the headquarters of India Post. So it is in the Delhi. So okay. So it is in the Delhi and we celebrate and observe the Indian Postal Day in there. So types. Other means of communication. So how can we know all of the news and we can talk like communicate with others. So print media so now print media is a type of a is a type of a like a group so like what is in the print media so print media is a mass media so it comes in the mass media and what comes in the print media print me in print media you can come so in print media there is newspapers so like Hindustan Times, the Hindu, the Times of India and the Indian Express, there are more. So the newspapers help us to reach. But like in the telephone, we can only communicate with one person. But this newspaper can, so we can, we can tell it through to many people so like newspapers but in the telephone you can only you can only communicate with one person but in in newspapers you can communicate with many so print media is a mass media so mass media means to communicate with everyone so fax machine so if you know the fax machine so if you know the fax machine so good so fax machine help us to send the written message instantly so like so like in the letters it goes like three four days it takes to process but fax machine and our written messages instantly. So instantly means very fastly. So electronics media. So you know the Google email, no guys. Everybody know Google email, Yahoo email, so the diff mail. So what does it mean? So if anyone know what does the email mean, then comment it below. So Email means electronic mail. So email means electronic mail. So electronic mail. Because we send it on a laptop, it's a electronics. So that's why that's why it is called electronic mail. So like this picture you can see. So now we learned about letters, different types of communication. So now types of stamps. So we will learn types of stamps. So you will be thinking, what is the first stamp of India? No guys. So what is the first stamp of India, of Independent Day? So the Indian flag was depth. That is set on the first time of independent India. 
Here you can see this flag of India with a stamp. So this is like a very rare. So you can see 15 August 1947. So it's a. So we cannot find this type of stamps nowadays because we got got it telephones and laptops and computers. So, but now you can find some more stamps like, like these Gandhi G's and these ones. So, just you can see the India flag photo. This is the first stamp of independent India. So, the first Indian personality to be deposited. On a foreign stamp was Mahatma Gandhi. So in India, so you think on India we can find the Mahatma Gandhi stamps. So no. So first stamp to be in foreign also was Mahatma Gandhi. So like here you can see Sri Lanka, Green Island and like more other like India swims also is there. And we have talked about our national India national national country India. Now we let's talk about more stamps. So here you can see many collection of stamps. So here you can see one instrument. This you can see Nehruji, and this you can see Mahatma Gandhi, and and you can see many more. So my my favorite one is this sun. So, so there will be written like 550, 30. So these are the rupees of it. And it's like one rupee. So, so like those are what you are thinking about. That what are these numbers? So these numbers are rupee of the stamp so some stamps are costly like 500 and some stamps are not costly like one rupee so full forms so now this will be interesting for you guys so here you can see std isd PCO. So if you go in the market and other places and if you not have a phone so you need so you need to call from this no so if you so this can you can find this in the markets and those any those ways so now we will learn learn full form of this three STG ISG and PCO. So PCO means public call office. So public call office means to just uh, talk like to we will call and the other person will receive and ISD international subscriber dialing. So international subscriber dialing like we work in the India and we need to call like Canada, Australia, China. So it so we need to use the international subscriber dialing. So in pub so I forgot to tell you in public call office we also needed to give some money and the international subscriber dialing means like we are in India and we need to talk from other countries like Canada, Australia and China. So we use ISD, International Subscriber Dialing. So STD, Subscriber Trunk Dialing means in India only but other states like India to Delhi, India to Uttar Pradesh, India to Kerala. So not in, in not in the foreign in in india but other states so it is called std subscriber trunk dialing and now types other means of communication so like you have 
everyone have TV in their own houses. So TV is also a mass media. So you can see this a TV, Android, Smart TV, and what channels can you see? Star Plus, Cartoon Network, G Network, MTV Music Net, Television, HBO, Star Movies, BBC World, ESPN, Algeria, Ten Sports, AXN, Discovery Channel, CNN. So there are more channels. So you can see these all channels in this. So that so the channels are available in many languages like Malayalam, uh, Tamil, uh, Hindi, Telugu, and so the TV is also in a mass media and also in English. So is a mass media and postal services. So like I want to send some monies like one thousand to someone. So what we need to do? So you will think like we will put it in a postcard and post. So no guys, it's a wrong. So it will be money order we will use to post it. So money order. Money can be sent. Can be sent to other places through money order. So here you can see this sample. So you, so you need to go to post office and go the money to and give the money and they will give this sample paper, this paper, and then you need to fill full form. Fill the full form, and now communication timeline. So. How does we communicate? So how do we? So smokes. So smoke silence. So like like we have gone picnic for the jungle, but we have lost in the jungle. So we will like uh, we will. We will put the fire and we will smoke, and the smoke will come out, and the people will know that someone is here, and they will come to rescue you. Then the olden days, the olden, olden, olden days was the smoke sign line. Then came the pigeon. So pigeon carries the letter, and then it gives to the other receiver. And then Morse code. So Morse Morse code means it will be like a code, and we and then we will send it. So we will know. Okay, this one means this, and we will get to know. And then come came the wireless radio. So as you know, there is radio in all of the house. But this is a wireless radio, so it's like a radio only, but it's wireless. Then came the telephones. So you know the telephone guys, like it's like a phone only. We need to just uh, put, dial this ring. So we need to round this ring around, and uh, we need to dial the number. Then came the fax machine. So like the fax machine will be like a In the schools, office, so you can see it there, and we will write a letter and put it in there. So other receivers will put a paper, and it will print on that paper, which which other receivers has been typed on it, and then it, when he will receive, he will call through this this telephone. Then the receiver will. This I would will talk to him and say will say how is it and how is it not. So mobile telephone. So everyone has mobile telephone. You know mobile telephone. And then came the internet. And from that internet only, uh, people invented email. So let me tell you a fact about internet. So Tim Berners Lee invented the internet, and then came the email. From internet only, the email came. Then came the mobile phone. 
then what's next so if you know what is the next so comment down below if you know what's next after the telephone so now persons who invented so who invented telephone alexander graham bell graham bell bell so telephone who invented telephone alexander graham bell here you can see who is alexander graham bell now who invented radio marconi invented the radio here you can see in the black and white picture the marconi and then the television so on which we can see and see and we can entertain ourselves with tv so john barrett so john barrett invented the tv so bye guys we will meet in our next session until that you subscribe share subscribe and comment to my channel